Welcome you to another Napoleon Total War. It's been three weeks from my last video, so I'm going to explain my shit. First week I was ill. I was going to get a video up, but then I just became ill. I have noticed that it became a very regular pattern, and I was like, let's do a video. Oh wait, I'm ill. So, um, I think it's getting bad for my health, leaving it a week and then deciding to do a video. Maybe I should do a couple in a day and then upload it so I won't come back feeling like shit. Although I am still technically ill now. I don't know if you can tell by my voice. I'm c I think I already said I'm cough, I don't know why that'd be anything to do with my voice. I did try and get some more Roma, but I ended up with some random things like small funds only, and the guy only had one unit. I had a. I was planning to have a good game today on Rome, but it was against a Mason unit, and he only had like champions, just like one unit, 20 of them fully ranked. What the fuck? So I was like, alright, I'm gonna give up on Rome for a while, let the meta sort itself out. Or I'd try and get into another game, but then I thought, you know what, fuck it, let's do some Napoleon, and this is where we are now, doing some Napoleon. Total War Online, it's a 1v1, I haven't played a 1v1 on Napoleon, I think, since it came out. If you look at most of my videos, they're always like 2v2s and stuff. So this game, as you can see, I am the wonderful Prussia. I don't know why I said Prussia like that, I am Prussia. Against... Well, France, as you can clearly tell by the flags. Although you, you should be able to tell by the Russian ones. And here I come back with the rambling. My plan was originally to have a small army, because they tend to have a small bunched up army. Push up, have my cavalry just fly up the right hand flank, and then be on the constant back slide. As you can see, they spread it out their men really well, so I can't do that. Granted, I may have fucked up in the, in the initial setup of the game, so I have my guys going like here, and they were sprinting. I was like, I. I won't have room for that. Um, also, I am tapping my keyboard, realizing that everything to my left is slowly falling off with vibrations, so I don't do that anymore. So, um, what was I saying? I said also, 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 Rome, yes, replays. They're still not the same as they should. So I'm here hoping that Napoleon, for some reason, hasn't deteriorated because of Rome. I don't know why I'm going so far back, I'm not too sure why it would deteriorate either, but nonetheless, here's hoping this game goes the same as it did, because it's ridiculous. Standard army, as usual, but actually, I didn't get that standard army. It's The rules were five units, well, five light units max, no artillery. That's why I've got a bulk of cavalry, so I don't really need that much cavalry. So, um, Prussia, clearly, because their light infantry is the second best in the game. The best is Portugal, but no one plays with Portugal because the rest of the units are god awfully shite. Uh, I've got three of um, the foot guards that try the elite inventory. I believe it is, and he's got normal fusiliers over here. Oh no, musketeers. Okay, yeah. This all changes completely during the whole game. As you can see now, I'm starting to split my um, cavalry up a little bit. Cavalry wise, I just land some cavalry. I do have the, um, the Tower Zarks. Elite guys. I'm not really going to try to pronounce that. As you can see already, he is far more spread out than I am, so he already is in a superior positioning in terms of the battle. But um, let's quite see how see how this goes. Obviously he's got, um, I believe the, yeah, the Volta Gears are also going to be able to throw down the spikes. So in terms of light infantry, in terms of light infantry fighting, I far more superior cavalry in melee as you can tell be far more superior because he's got the musket cavalry the treasure is a cheval I'm not French I'm terrible I'm learning Russian I'm dyslexic and I'm Cornish so English doesn't do me that good either anyway <laughs> so um yeah time will tell on that one as you see now I'm just bringing up you with my cavalry um kind of also forgetting that you know auto run this game so I'm doing a lot of you know control AR do everything at once, sort of thing. Cool, I say. I'm going to focus more on the left hand side. The left hand side is where the combat actually hits the figures. The first, and I think the last hit, always will came from the left hand side. I'm not sure if I'm counting the uh, little skirmish here. I'm going to just gonna push up, get some pop shots as they're running away. I thought you guys can't do fucking shit against these guys. Come on. <laughs> oh, there you go. See that? Boom. Volley off. And they're already dying. And Grassy Flatlands, what? Well, I never played Grassy Flatlands. I used to hate this map. I never know why. I never knew why. 
And I go into square formation, but does that matter? No, I remember in square, the square doesn't stop people as well as it used to, if I recall correctly. I don't know why I'm not good at every day, square formation, I'm going to say. I think it was an empire, you can do it at the last minute, and everything will be swimmingly fine. I hear gunshots. Ah, yes, the light infantry again. I didn't realise that they ran cavalry up into this side, though. That actually plays rather well for me. I don't know if it does well. I'm hoping it breaks soon, so I don't remember cavalry hitting my lines this early on the game. It broke. Boom, back onto this side. As you can see, I've got my cavalry mixed up in all of this Our crazy men are shit. Running, As you can see, with the old guard and the Swiss foot, I believe he just has old Oh, he's got the brave. 18 Russian dead in the tree, Delange. I don't know how to fucking say that. But as you can see already, my left hand side is like, the fuck, complete and utter chaos. He's got a completely organized cavalry here, my men force, everything dispersed, push up your line inventory, and he's just gonna walk through this, in a sense. But you forget. I'm, I'm commanding this shit. And that doesn't mean anything really that good. As you can see here, it's just light inventory skirmishing. I keep using my hands, I'm, I'm signaling with my hands ever on the map, realizing you can't see my hands, so I have to use the mouse a bit more. Oh, ball. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, this is all my elite, my elite infantry as well. So this getting this hit this hard this early, there's a lot of this is in that, um, is completely ridiculous, you know, honestly. As you can see, I still kept this. I thought while they're doing that, I'm going to push up all sneaky, push this, and I realized they ain't got the best morale anyway. And you've got old guy here. So the last thing I want is a full on heavy fight on the right hand side, oh, while my left is crumbling sort of thing. But as you can see now, I'm just sort of trying to do counter tactics and do the same as he, just trying to get my cavalry in there, just to delay them for a minute until I can hold some form of fucking clue on what I'm going to do here, kind of thing. So, um, oh dear god, as you can see, it's just now gone into chaos. He could actually just turn around and hit right into my line infantry and hit my light infantry, and it would just be sort of done. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at this here, man. Okay, as you can see here, I'm trying to pull down some light infantry, trying to bring up my shoes, layers, trying to sort out my foot guards, or they're fleeing anyway, routing. I believe is the correct military term. So they're just routing here. So I'm just sort of trying to find some form of standard blockade to defend. Again, realizing like, hey, look, there's more cavalry. Of course, I bring over the rest of my cavalry over here, thinking, you know what? They're gonna need it on this side. I need more cavalry on this side to try and bunker down for some shit. Trying to get the scrap formation again. It sort of worked to halt the charge, but it didn't really get the whole gunfire exuberance, which managed to let some of the cavalry slip through and hit right into my light infantry. And that is something that I do not want to happen. And you can see here, everyone's walking because, again, I forgot. This doesn't auto run. Shogun and Roman to do. Ah, oh, and here we go. Here comes some of my cavalry. So we've got some good guys coming. Left hand side is not that far yet. The central is okay because I got far superior units, so I can sort of sort that shit out fine. I'm sort of delaying the left hand side, trying to push up to the central. Use my again, use my hands. Delay on this hand side. Use these guys here. To try and do as much as they can here, and hopefully reinforce this side here. Hopefully that they don't charge here, and I've got some form of foot onto the ground that we're fighting upon. Oh, it looks terrible. It looks terrible. <coughs> I still got a side cough, pardon me. Alright, and as you can see, a complete reformation. Running, because I don't want these guys pushing up, pushing up against a, an enemy which isn't going to stand and fight. While in the meantime, my left hand side, the enemy is marching to my gates like fucking calm. At the same time, I left these guys here. I, I fought. Sacrifice a few for the good of many, but at the same time, cavalry. Again, I need to be careful. I've completely misclicked and on this one. I had everyone here. I should have pulled them back. Got these guys further up. I had to be careful my general as well. He's already lost a unit. What a unit, a guy. Okay, not a lot, but at the same time, I could have done this all here a little bit sooner. Here again, they're going to get fucked. Like I said, I'm delaying these guys here. I don't want these units. They got complete stretch on me. That more guns firing, more of my guys dying. Complete and utter. Our men are running, sir. Fucking chaos along my line. So as you can see here, I'm just trying to do some form of reformation. I'm just going to like stretch out the men. We need it, sort of thing. On the plus, I believe that's all the cavalry apart from those guys up here. Oh, sneaky, sneaky! Here I come. I'll let you guys figure that one out. 
There you go, we've got some lines reformed now, as you can see I brought back these guys so I thought I'm going to have to get two of them just to hold the ground, send the third one here to reinforce behind my light infantry and see what I can do in a hold off. One of my um, foot guys here, as you can see, came back gloriously to help me. Oh, how I miss him, so. <laughs> uh, a bit of a risky move, I know he's this one so far up against um, the I oh, know it's the brave, quite unquote. So, because against Volta Gears, I'm not too fussed about the Volta Gears. If I left them there, they can do some serious damage to my lines. But I didn't need to bring that many men. Again, I'm using my hands on the mouse. I didn't need to bring that many men to secure like the northern part of the map. Man, I slid past that cab. Look at that, ninja. Got no excuses. Just look at the mini map, more guys. Look at the mini map now. Nah, it looks like I'm completely fucking surrounded. Am I not? Alright, okay, I know, that the f I know that they're coming for me, I know that they're coming for me. So as you can see, I sort of moved them to a slight angle. Ah, the fire comes. I didn't really kill that many. I do believe I hit the smallest square formation ever. I got these guys to square before they attack. And so since they're in light infantry formation, I don't want these guys here stuck out too much to get completely mowed down by them. Oh, there's a militia. That's brave. Oh, there they are. The Braves, I got them behind. I may or may not get like one or two friendly fires, but in terms of what I'm doing compared to what I'm fucking up, it's probably the correct word. It's more than worth having your men double stack like this in this sort of situation, because I'm not going to hit hardly any of my men. If We've any. Ah, uh, yes! Huzzah! I don't know what I do with these guys, I think I just now charge them. I think that cavalry unit is probably the one which did help me quite a bit in this fight. I don't see now my, my foot guys aren't going to hold against this fucking sort of bombardment. Oh, I should actually just pull these guys back and back again to see if I can just try and stack them again. I don't know what's going to go happening down. All I know is that people are dying. I believe I hit that into the brave without the militia. And that was the brave. The brave are down, the Swiss for a week. What I should have done sent them down south against all of these guys here and hoping that I can do something better. But I didn't, I charged them north because I want to get this bulk here off. So I was playing about on this angle. So as you can see this is my main, my main line, I was trying to get the fuckers here out of the way. In the meanwhile, so he's trying to get my musketeers here. I mean they'll get the first volley off which will do damage but at the same time in a prolonged fight. They're, they're not going to win. You've got two squids up there, an older guard against two musketeer units. The so standard um, line in the tree aren't going to do that at all. I believe my cavalry got caught up in the spikes and I forgot all about them until I just saw that pop up on the replay. Whew. As you can see here, well, they, they are the fusiliers. Our oh, fusiliers are going, I don't want that. He's got a few musketeers holding the ridge and they're pulling back. Did we win? But well, we do have superior advantage on this side here in terms of guns. But now they pulled back that side, they decided to push up this side. Why? Because we love them. Don't we love this guy? We have a lot of his army fleeing, a lot of them dead. Granted, a lot of my army is dead as well. Our forces are pretty fucked on both sides. But as you can see, it's now just one of those things where, we just, where I'm just going to have to keep switching my men. Look this way, look that way, do this, do that. Just try and delay it. I knew that I wasn't going to win. In um, in the terms of shooting, so I don't know what the life of me thought I was gonna be old guy in a fucking melee. <laughs> yeah. See, but my thinking probably was actually get them into melee. Oh, get these guys into melee. Get these guys lined up properly to shoot. Sounds brilliant, doesn't it? Absolute gold. Oh, everyone's running. Look, now I'm going to try and reform these lines here so I know I'm not too far away if I need these guys' support and vice versa. So we've got these guys up here in the north. I think they're just shooting at the militia. Yeah, the, the north is sort of actually alright for us. It's just, you know, the two east and west flanks, which I'm slightly concerned about at this point in time. Considering that I've been on the down foot in this whole game in terms of placement and, um, I wouldn't say, I would say units in a sense. My, as I said already, my line of inventory completely was superior. My cavalry was superior, but my tactics were, <laughs> were inferior with them, apart from taking down the general. I was quite pleased at that. But when we come down to this sort of heavy fight in here, we couldn't do it. And also, he knows that he can't fully charge this line yet, because the bombardment of the light infantry and then the line infantry behind them will suffer them heavy casualties. And don't know if he wants to just hold out until the inevitable happens on my right hand side, where I just fucking die. 
as you see, he's charging my uh, line infantry, my light, sorry, my light infantry, might have a chance in terms of um, shooting, so I thought, I'm going to have to get my general in there, I'm going to oh, pull man, him back again in a on. second. I believe that was on my right, yeah, my right hand side, that's not going to do very good. So that's my, that's my east side now pretty much fallen. I, I am metaphorically the Berlin Wall. <laughs> I hope that makes more sense to you guys than it does to me. And yeah, as you can clearly tell, I've turned my guys around now. Apart from these, just in case, because I knew that as soon as they noticed that all my fire is directing onto this side, these fuckers here are going to charge again. So I got these guys here just because, like, <laughs> sort of thing. My general's probably going to die. You got some shots raining in the air. That's my general gone and dead. I think they will slide down again in a second. So I'm now trying to bulk there. We go try and bolster this here with the odd musket here, you know, but you can just see already that I'm pretty fucked. I, I, at this point I was like, well that's GG, <laughs> you know? I mean, yeah, not, not many people tend to upload games when they defeat. I don't really upload many of my defeats, but there are some games where you just have so much fun playing, you just can't resist to make the video of. And this, to me, was one of the games. So I haven't played Napoleon Line in a very long time. I haven't played a 1v1 since the Napoleon came out, sort of thing. So you still need to play it with friends. And now just to... This. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, that's, that's definitely gone. I'm going to do a quick pause before the thing finishes. He's got, what? Swiss Foot Old Guard. Swiss Foot Old Guard. And I think this Swiss Foot's the only one which didn't take any casualties in the whole game. That's impressive on this Swiss Foot. I mean, if I was like the like the flag, not the flag guy, the flag guy's not in charge. This motherfucker here, I'd be like, so who's dead? Oh, no one. <laughs> unbelievable, unbelievable. So that's uh, as you can see, that's clearly GG from that. Uh, yeah, I have been Carpus. I hope you enjoyed this Napoleon Total War. Maybe some more rooms to come. There you can see the stats. By stats, I lost as well dramatically. Killed 300 more men than I. So um. Yeah, I, I have no more to say, so I'm going to quit my senseless ramblings and say GG, well done to R2. I've been Carpus, so I hope you did so enjoy my battle. More to come as always. Sorry for the delay, I'll try not to make so much delay. At least it's not six months like I have done before. So, um, pardon me, for the fourth or third time now, probably the fourth, I have, I have been Carpus. I hope you enjoyed. More to come as always. Ah, oh, I can feel juices now of Napoleon pumping through. That sounds really wrong. I'm rambling. For the fifth time, I'm Carpus. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>